Hey guys, it's Lauren here. I'm here to share a really, really special layout with you. I have been wanting to scrapbook this photo of my beautiful sleeping teenager for such a long time now and I just wanted to wait for those perfect products to come along um, and here it is. I found it. I'm scrapbooking today with the beautiful Flutter by Designs collection. It's called Magical AF and how fabulous is that piece of pattern paper? This grungy kind of graffiti kind of feel, painty, arty, messy feel was perfect to scrapbook my teenage boy. I don't know about you but having teenage boys and finding collections that really shine and show their personality is really tricky but this collection I found a few pieces out of it that really I thought you beauty this is this is the I'm finally scrapbooking this gorgeous photo that I've wanted to do for such a long time so I've decided to do a 9 by 12 inch layout and I just really want to close it in and sort of give it a bit of a border so I just mounted it on some white cardstock and I've pulled some pieces uh, these this is the stuff in the Magical AF collection by Flutter by Designs and I just really wanted to pull in some ephemera, pull in some big titles and um, I love all these cards, like they're just fun sayings. A lot of them it has a real pink girly theme but there's um, pieces in here like what I'm scrapbooking with now that are perfect for our boys so it's a really great diverse collection um, if you haven't heard of Flutter by Designs it's an Australian company and in the description below I'm going to put on um, put the website and it also Flutter by Designs also has like a Facebook inspiration group where the community can post and have chats about things so I'll put that link below um, as well because you're going to want to be a part of this group it's um, the products are fun bright vibrant happy and you've just got to you've got to scrapbook with them I'm so excited especially because this is I get to scrapbook this photo and it ends up looking so cool I just love it so as you can see that paper's being so busy I didn't want to lose the photo into the background so just using a couple of photo cards that came in the collection I've just added a border of the um, sort of the craft color and the photo already had a white border on it and then I've just used some other photo cards there just to um, give an extra border with those blues and dark tones there I thought they were really kind of dreamy tones as well which were perfect for it because he was having a little snooze there the puppy's trapped in under the arm there <laughs> she doesn't I'm sure she's having a lovely time there so here these cut files are also from Flutter by Designs it comes in a little love set where you get like some cut files you get the inserts and you get some other loves that are already printed out as well which I find really fabulous and um, and all these ephemera pieces that I'm playing with now are also part of the collection which when they coordinate so well like this it just makes it really super easy to come together so as you can see this layout is just really simple a double border on the photo I've just got that beautiful pattern background I'm doing an embellishment cluster down the side adding some photo tabs um, just in that little bit of a white space corner there just to add a little bit more interest and um, just have some little reading prompts there and and then I'm going to stick it all down and I've used another card there which um, just had dreams I really wanted to use that heart but I just I never did I just couldn't find the right spot um, and yeah so here you can see that I've just really plonked it down just did some layering added a strip of embellishment clusters and bam there you have it it's a really simple and easy design and that's the one beautiful thing about scrapbooking in the 9 by 12 format sometimes 12 by 12 you just feel like you've got a lot of space to kind of fill in and add an extra embellishment cluster or you know it just sometimes it just takes a lot a lot more work whereas a 9 by 12 inch you can put one or two standard size photos on there a, a bit if you, a one in one or two embellishment clusters a title a bit of journaling and you're done and I'm really I think I'm really enjoying that size when I'm just wanting that really quick fix of a quick layout 
So here I am just using my favourite wet glue at the moment, which is a Tombow glue. It's really great. It's got a broad tip and a fine tip, which I love. Makes these fiddly things like cut files really easy to adhere. I just really wanted that love to sit in the right spot and in the right angle. Like, you know, I'm not really, like, I have no design background. I just do what my heart like I don't know where things are technically meant to go. I just follow my heart and what I think looks good is where I place it. But sometimes when you're dealing with these angles, you kind of think, well, maybe I should be looking at where things should go as opposed to following my heart. Because I think if you get these angles wrong, it's it just doesn't look like it's meant to look. I don't know if that makes sense, but you'll see me playing around here with angles and where things should be on the bottom and the top. And I think that's that's just my personal preference. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I'm just sort of plonking things down. But I'm really happy with how that cluster kind of came together. And I think having that really busy background kind of helped it a little in the sense of um, it's sort of those those embellishments other than those big love words, kind of just blend into the background, which just create that little bit of a subtle, unique feature there. So here I go. Oh my gosh, is the angle right? Oh, I do not know. Yep, loving that. Uh, we'll just go on with that. <laughs> the good thing is with that Tombow glue, it dries clear, which gives me a little bit of wiggle room when I'm playing with angles and moving things around. But once it sticks, like once it dries, it's super sticky, which is also really good as well. You'll see me here in a minute, that blue star, I end up... Um, wanting to put something else there and I try and maneuver off that that blue star and it sort of really stuck but I end up getting it off and um, you'll see but that's the beautiful quality of this glue now Flutterby Designs also has this great range of really cool funky flares and perfect for our boys like look at these whatever mum that's such a good saying be your own kind of rock star I love that really positive messages um, in these collections as well which is really great for our kids and the self-esteem at the moment and I just want to splurge and put some really funky flares around those are flares are not from the magical af collection they're from another boy collection that uh flutterby designs has and but i just knew that it would match in perfectly with this kind of grungy look as well and it had those the yellow tones the teal and that uh craft color that um uh, here i am trying to get that star off without wrecking it but um yeah, so I knew it had the craft colour, so I knew I had all the colours, so I knew even though my mixing collections, I knew it would work in the end, and you know, flares are just so fun, sometimes I find they're really big, but other times they just really work on layouts, and I really found that that just worked on this layout here, and I just love how it came together. So there you have it, there's my fun, funky layout, my boy layout, I hope that... Um, this light's inspired you to scrapbook a special photo of your boy and maybe get busy with a really crazy background. Um, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you're new and you like my style and I'll catch you guys again really soon with a new layout. Take care. Bye. Bye.